Hello, this is Fred Rowe from Sierra Brighta Fly Fishing Guide Service. I've been teaching guiding, writing, and lecturing on fly fishing since 1982. Let's get to this week's fly fishing report. Hi, right, well, opening weekend came and went as expected. Pretty much everything was snowed out, closed out with ice, couldn't access it because of snow on the roads. Probably one big thing of mention, there were a few guys who showed up with their boats at Crawley, totally amazed they couldn't get out on the lake. And there were a few guys that surprisingly walked out on the ice, not very thick ice, to try an ice fish. Not safe. Be very careful if you're going to go ice fishing. Make sure it's at least two or three feet thick if you're going to go out on the ice. Okay, well, let's talk about the fishing. Upper Owens River, snow's really starting to melt. The roads are starting to pop. I wouldn't drive them. They're really muddy, really wet. By the way, you're just asking to get stuck up there. Okay, let's go over to Hot Creek. Same problem. You can walk in. The snow's soft. It's kind of hard to get in and out. You can't drive in yet. But the fishing actually was really good. Blooming olive hatch is what's providing everything right there. Okay, down the hill, Lower Owens is at 750. It's just going to get worse. It's done fishing until October. Okay, so where can we fish? Bishop Creek Canal. It's fishing good. I was there yesterday. Caught fish right off the bat. Okay, let's go over to Bishop Creek up high in the foothills. Same thing. We're fishing in there and we're catching fish um, in there using pheasant tails and midges. Same thing over at Pine Creek. Okay, so that's this week's fly fishing report brought to you by Fred Rowe from Sarah Bright Dot Fly Fishing Guide Service. I can be found on Instagram or Facebook or with Parrot, Laughing Parrot Productions on YouTube.